Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So, in this video, it's actually going to be a bittersweet moment. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, uh, I was getting three pairs of koi guppies. And as you can see on the screen, there's only two. Um, so there's nothing wrong with the shipment that the uh, person I bought them from had. The only issue was, I guess, koi guppies are already kind of weak to begin with just because they're albinos. Uh, and since they're coming from such a far, just far location, the whole travel and all that is kind of stressful on the fish. I did lose all three males, um, so I got these fish on Thursday, and today is Wednesday. No, sorry, I lied. I got these fish on last Thursday, and today's Tuesday, uh, and I lost the males, I believe, like two days later. And then I lost a female yesterday. So these are the last two females that are left, and they're actually doing pretty well. They're actually eating and everything. Um, I don't see any parasites or anything on them, which is great. And then the sweet part to that is that one of the females gave birth. So there's a total of 18 fry that I've counted. And now I'm just really just focusing on raising these guys to start up the colony. Um, as one of the females did give birth, she was definitely hit by one of the males. Um, and hopefully, with stored sperm, uh, she'll continue to breed into the future even without a male. So this whole tank right now, the whole setup in this tank, is going to be strictly dedicated to these fish. So the breeder boxes for the fry and all that, and then as they get older, to a certain point, a certain age. Um, I'll have one of these tanks for them, so I, if, what I'm thinking right now is when these guys hit about maybe like three weeks old, I'll put them in there for maybe like a month or so, and then after that I'll move them into this. That way they have this whole area for them, and then I'll continue to selectively breed them. I want to great, create a uh, stronger koi guppy strain for the US. Like as I've mentioned, this is not the first time I've imported them with the same exact result. It has to be that it's pretty much due to the fact that these guys are raised in water in other countries. So I believe these guys came from Singapore. I could be wrong, but I believe it was Singapore. And the water quality there is completely different than the water here. So when the fish get here, it's like a huge shock. Um, so my goal is now that since these fry are actually born here and they're being raised in the water in my fish room, that hopefully they're more adjusted to these um, parameters. And then since there's two females, hopefully there's some genetic diversity with them, and then as those guys are continuing to grow, those will be males and females, and continue to breed them. Um, I'm even going to try crossing them with my albino superior red, but just a few as a side project to get some extra bloodline in there, but that is not actually guaranteed. I don't really know like what genetics those guys possess when they're combined with the quake guppies, even though they're both albinos. Um, so that's something we'll have to see in the future. But definitely keep an eye out that for that, because there's going to be more quake guppy videos. I was hoping that I would have all three females and the males as well and create a large breeding population, but that didn't go as planned. But we still have all the, uh, the guppy fry over here. The quake guppy uh, fry. These guys are sweet. So right now I just fed them, I've been feeding them four times a day with the Dakari the First Bites. Uh, there's actually a link in the description for an affiliate link, yes these are affiliate links, um, in the description below. And this is what I, pretty much what I feed all my guppy fry. So, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys that, as I said, I was going to have more guppy Koi Guppy videos, but that didn't go as planned, really. But in the end, we still did get a better result because we ended up with Fry. So the six guppies I purchased ended up being 18, but now I just have to raise them up. Uh, hopefully, we don't lose too many of the Fry as they start to age. But they look, they look very, very healthy. They're pretty large for just being born, and they really go for the food like crazy. Let's see them right up here.
So definitely check out future videos. Drop a like if you liked anything in this video because it definitely helps out the channel uh, expand and grow. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe. If you're returning, drop a comment below and have a good one. Till next time, guys.